Australia was amazing. Um, the country is beautiful and the people are so nice and welcoming and um, my team was just so much fun. It was so much fun to play in a different area and it's summer over there so the weather was so nice too. <laughs> Okay. And um, so what's it what's it like being back? Are you back just for a short time? Or are you back for a little while now? Is it the off season now? Yeah, so it's still the off season, um, but coming up on preseason. So I leave March 8th or 9th um, back to New Jersey to play for Sky Blue. So right now it's I'm just kind of preparing, you know, mentally and physically as much as I can to be ready for preseason. Okay. So you're going to be in the States now. You're not going to be out on loan? Nope. I'm here for the next couple of weeks until I go to New Jersey. Okay. And... Um, that's what I meant. Like, are you going back to Australia, okay. or are you coming? Are you just staying? In? No, I'll stay here. Um, I could possibly go back to Australia maybe next um, off season, but uh, we'll see. Kind of depends on, you know, how I'm feeling physically and and mentally. Um, probably more so mentally after a long season with Sky Blue. Okay. And um, what are you looking forward to most with being back with Sky Blue? Um, it's going to be a whole new, not a whole new team, but there's going to be a lot of changes. Uh, we have a new head coach, uh, new assistant coaches. Um, we're going to have a new midfield, really. There's been two people who retired, so um, I'm just looking forward to kind of putting the pieces together and um, playing with some new faces and getting out on the field and playing against great competition as well. Okay. And um, what did you work on most when you went to the offseason down to Australia? What did, what did you try to hone in on your game? Um, I think for me, I think um, just in improving my technical abilities, um, being able to, you know, play balls with different surfaces of my feet um, over different, you know, ranges all across the field, um, just spreading the ball, you know, 20, 30, 40 yards and um, trying to find that range as much as I can. Okay. And um, what's it like coming back and doing another camp with the youth of Fort Wayne? No, I love doing these camps, and I wish I could do them more often, but it's so much fun to see the kids come out and um, to see their growth um, over the time that I'm gone and to see them develop even the little bit that I have with them. Um, if I can help in any way, I, I love to do that. Okay. Why do you think it's important to give back um, to the youth of Fort Wayne? I think it's so important because this is what I grew up doing. I loved coming out to these little camps and clinics and you know I grew up going to Bobby Porcinitas' camp and I'll never forget it and I think I improved so much from it. So if I can come back and give them, you know, a little bit of my time and you know something that they can think about and look forward to and say, you know, maybe I can grow up and, and do that too. That's that's what I love to do. So. Okay. And um, if somebody wants to get involved with your camp for next time, what's the best way to go about doing that? Do you have a website that they can sign up on, or how, how do they go about that? Um, I'm pretty sure you can just go to flexsports.com um, or flex.com, and it'll be up on the website. Um, if you're ever out here at the Flex South, uh, there's always flyers hanging up. We always have the flyers hanging up, and um, you can really just grab anybody that's in any of the offices, and they can tell you about it, or um, it'll be up on social media too, Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that.